Hi everyone, this is Gail Vihar with Pretty Presets and today I just wanted to give you a little visual tour of the new Lightroom CC app that Adobe released recently. So this isn't the Lightroom CC that we're used to, this is a new app and the Lightroom CC that we've been used to is now called Lightroom Classic CC. But this is still something that I think that people are, are going to be using and so I just wanted to give you a rundown of it and walk you through it a little bit, help you get familiar with it. So first of all, in order to add, well, in order to add photos, all I need to do is come over here and click on this plus icon. My photos live here in this little box icon. Everything that I upload to Lightroom CC is going to be saved to the Creative Cloud and this is a good thing because your photos are automatically backed up somewhere off-site but it's also a tricky thing because I take a lot of photos and you know how quickly you can fill up a let's say a 16 gigabyte card um, that doesn't take long at all, to be honest. So my Creative Cloud subscription only comes with 20 gigabytes of space. So if I'm uploading everything to the Creative Cloud that I take, I could fill up 20 gigabytes of space in no time at, in no time at all. So that's, you know, something to be aware of. There are other plans with more space if you want to pay for them. So let's just go through. I'm gonna, I have a card connected and some pictures on it, so we're just gonna go through and we're going to upload some photos. When I open this, um, automatically everything that's on my card shows, and I actually have a session on here, as well as a bunch of nature photos that I took the other day. I don't wanna import everything. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select and I don't know how many photos we're going to select here. Let's just go through and select some. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to click the button in the corner of the checkbox and we're going to import these 12 photos into Lightroom. And you'll see that they just start showing. One thing that I I think will be interesting is that the workflow for Lightroom CC is going to be a little bit different. Not everything is organized by folders and so I'm going to use an album here and I'm going to just try to select all of these. And I am going to create a new album. I'm going to call this, I don't know, leaf. Let's say leaf photos. It's going to ask me if I want to include the 12 selected photos. I'm going to say yes. So basically, albums are your way of organizing your photos. Over here, if you click on the plus sign, you'll see that I can also create a folder. When I click on this, it says folders help you organize your albums. So I'm assuming, I haven't played with this a ton, I'm just giving you a run through right now, but I'm assuming that you could put several albums into a folder and keep them together that way. And so as far as organization goes, that's, those are your options for organization. So let's go over here to editing photos. So over here is where you add and kind of organize. This is a little bit similar to Lightroom. On the right over here is where we're going to edit our photos. So we have options that are going to look pretty similar to Lightroom. We have in our light box up here, we have exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, blacks and whites. These are all familiar if you've used Lightroom. So they, and they all work very, very much the same. Color, color is very much the same too. 
In fact, if I click on this, I get more color options down here. Um, you can click on black and white to change it to black and white. The color options also include our temp and our tint, our vibrance and saturation. So normally in Lightroom, those would have been up with, with some of these other light options, but they're down here in the color section, which makes sense. They're color. They change the color. Effects, we have clarity, dehaze, and vignette. And you'll notice that a lot of these, these next sliders that I'm going to show you are very simplified versions of what they are in Lightroom. So clarity is pretty much the same. Dehaze, pretty much the same. Vignette, normally when we do vignettes in Lightroom, we have multiple options. This just gives you one option. Pull to the right for light, pull to the left for dark. That's really all you've got. The detail panel is very simplified. So we would have multiple sh sliders for sharpening in Lightroom. Um, the same with noise reduction and color reduction. We'd have multiple sliders that applied to those. So you can see that these are very simplified. And you can also see that as I'm scrolling over them, I am getting little pop-up windows that are showing me and telling me kind of what they do. So let's go down here. Op optics, we're just going to have a box to remove chromatic aberration and to enable lens corrections. There are more options in Lightroom, so these are very simplified as well. And geometry, this is going to be your straightening. This has your upright. Um, you can turn it on, off, guided. Still many of the same options that we had before. Um, just a little bit more simplified. And that's really what it comes down to, is a lot of this is just more simplified than the full version of Lightroom Classic CC. Your crop and your rotate. Um, same thing, more simplified, not as many options. You can always, just like normal, pull from the corners and slide. You can lock that or unlock it if you want it to maintain the same aspect ratio, you know, keep it locked. This is your rotating of your cropping handles if you want to do that. Straightening is just one slider here back and forth. You can rotate, you can flip horizontal, vertical, um, same, you know, options that have been there before. This band-aid is going to be the healing brush. And this is going to allow you to heal or clone. You can click on the heal. You can choose heal or clone. It works very much the same as it does in Lightroom. Very, very similar. You still have the same options here as far as size, feather, and opacity. Um, one thing you'll want to maybe be aware of if you're a Lightroom user and a, a big full Lightroom user, Lightroom Classic, and you come over here is that many of your shortcuts will work the same as they have before. So I would use my bracket keys for brushes to change the size. I can still do that as well. My right and left bracket keys work here too. So a lot of these, these same things, if I wanted to click on something to remove it, I can do the same thing click and drag. I can move it around just like I could before. I have pins. Um, they look a little bit different in this version, but the same thing. So This little, you'll see this little arrow up here on the left. This will undo or remove anything that I've done with that tool. And you'll see that in, in other areas as well where you can undo. Once you've done something, you can undo it. Let's come down here to the brush. This plus sign is what you'll need to click in order to make a new brush. Um, you can use your same, same shortcuts for size. All the same sliders, pretty much, that we're used to in, in Lightroom. A, a little bit, I don't know if they're out of order or not, a little bit out of order, but, but not too much. Let's say I want to paint on a little bit of saturation. Let's just come over here and we're going to paint on. You can see I've got my overlay on. You can turn it off. O is the shortcut to hide overlay. Same thing here. I can turn it on or off. I have an erase tool 
here so I can click on this eraser. This automatically makes my brush a minus and so I can remove that same brush that I've just brushed on. I can take it off and you can see with my, if I turn on my overlay, you can see that I can just remove it. I'm just brushing off my overlay here. This same arrow up here with a line underneath it, that will undo everything I've done and will remove it. If I want to do a new brush, once I've added one, a new brush, I just click the plus sign again. That will add a new brush. These same features are going to work very much the same for the gradient tool, this linear gradient tools, just you know how we've had it in Lightroom before. I can use the brush to add to that so I can put on a gradient and then still brush over here. I can use my eraser to erase. The one thing that you'll want to notice, and you've probably noticed as I'm sitting here working on this, is that there is no flow tool for the erase tool. So it doesn't erase quite the same or quite as quickly as it does in Lightroom. Lightroom, I change my flow if I want it to erase a little more softly. Here, it, it, there's no options. It just does one thing. Um, you do still have, I want you to notice, I'll show you it here because it will pop up again. So I'm going to drag a, a radial filter. You'll see the invert. That's what I wanted to show you before. You can invert a radial gradient just like you can in Lightroom. So many of these features are exactly the same or very similar, just simplified in this new Lightroom CC. So the next thing I want to show you, and probably the last thing I'm going to show you, is that here I made a separate video to show you that your presets will work in Lightroom CC, the desktop version of the app. They will not work in the mobile versions, at least like this. You can't import them. So I'm just going to show you, if I come up here, and I have these options as I click on the three dots up here at the top, I can open the presets folder. So as I click here, this is where I've just copied and pasted the same preset folders that I had access to in Lightroom. I've just copied and pasted them, pasted them into this folder. Then you just shut it down, you quit the Lightroom app and start it and your presets will all be there. And they work the same as they did previously in the Lightroom in the in Lightroom Classic CC so they will work the same. I really like this version. I think it's a nice update from the mobile version that Lightroom had before. I think it's better. I think it's more powerful. I like that it syncs. There are, I have talked about the desktop version and the mobile version. It's also interesting to know that there's also a web version so you can go to lightroom.adobe.com and there's a web version of this as well. You just log into your Creative Cloud membership or with your ID and everything is synced across all these platforms. So some really nice features, um, a great tool for editing your photos. I love the mobile apps as well. I think they're powerful and and wonderful options too. So. Hopefully this helps you get started or help to understand a little bit more of this new tool that Adobe has released, this Lightroom CC app. Um, enjoy playing with it and editing with it.